What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm counting down the top 10 best Adidas sneakers for 2019. Thanks so much for tuning in today, I really appreciate you being here. Today we're going to be talking about 10 of the best Adidas sneakers available in 2019. Now that doesn't mean that the sneaker had its very first release in 2019, it purely means that the sneaker is available for sale. Like you could walk into an Adidas store and pick up some of these shoes. It might have to be a release day for some of the more limited sneakers, but you could do it. This list is not based on hype, even though some of the sneakers sneakers on this list are on the more hype side of things. The shoes on this list were picked purely for versatility and also their overall popularity in the general population. But with that being said, why don't we jump right into the list with number 10. The Harden Volume 3. The Harden Volume 3 is probably the best all-around Adidas basketball sneaker available on the market at the moment. It's relatively inexpensive and I'm sure in the near future you can probably find pairs on sale. It features a full-length boost midsole which is great for comfort and for impact protection and even though it's strictly a basketball sneaker, it looks good enough that you could probably wear it off court as well. You have a couple different options when it comes to the upper of the sneaker in addition to color. You can also choose the material that you want. So there are leather versions and knit versions. The traction on this sneaker is excellent for indoor basketball but it might wear down quickly if you wear it outside. But even with that the overall sneaker is extremely durable and will last you a long time. Number 9. The NMD R1 The NMD R1 has been a staple of Adidas' sneaker lineup for the last couple years. And at one time, it was by far one of the most popular sneakers that Adidas produced. That was mostly due to the fact that at the time, Boost was a brand new technology and the NMD R1 was still a very limited sneaker. Now, about four years later, the NMD R1 is not as popular as it used to be, but it's still one of the best-selling sneakers on Adidas' website and in retail stores. One of the most appealing things about the NMD R1 is just the sheer amount of options you have available. This shoe comes in tons of different colorways, in tons of different patterns, pretty much any look that you're going for, this shoe is available in. Not only that, but in addition to the more budget version of the sneaker, which comes with a mesh upper like this one, you can also get a more premium version that comes with a prime knit upper, which is a lot more comfortable. But no matter what option you choose, this sneaker is still incredibly comfortable, primarily due to the fact that this sneaker features a very well cushioned full length boost midsole. And honestly, the minimal aesthetic of the sneaker isn't bad to look at either. And if you do your research, you can definitely find great colorways of this shoe for great prices. Number 8. The Superstar Shell Toe The Superstar is one of the most classic Adidas sneakers available on the market today. There are not too many other Adidas lifestyle sneakers that are as classic as this one. The Superstar also comes with a primarily leather upper that comes in a ton of different colorways with contrasting Adidas 3 stripes that really make the side of the sneaker pop. The shoe is also pretty comfortable because it features an ortholite sock liner. And of course, that textured shell toe detail on the front of the sneaker not only looks good, but it also helps with durability, which makes the shoe last longer, which is always a good thing. Not only that, but it's one of the more budget shoes on this list. So if you're looking for a very versatile, classic sneaker that comes in a lot of different colorways, the Superstar is a great way to go. Number 7. The Stan Smith the Stan Smith is another classic that just never seems to go out of style. It features a full leather upper, usually in white, with an accent color on the heel tab. The Adidas 3 stripes are integrated into the sneaker in a very cool way by being perforated into the side of the shoe. This way, there's still some brand awareness while keeping the design detail pretty subtle. Even though the Stan Smith has a pretty standard midsole and rubber outsole, which isn't especially soft, it's still a pretty comfortable sneaker because of the ortholite sock liner. One of my favorite things about this shoe is how it looks once it's worn in. It's one of those things that looks nicer the more you use it. The look is extremely versatile and comes in at a great price. Number 6. The Pharrell Human Race NMD The Pharrell Human Race NMD is Pharrell's first collaboration with Adidas. Like many of the sneakers on this list, when it first released to the public it was almost impossible to grab and resale prices were going over a thousand or even two thousand dollars. Now though, a few years later there are still a couple colorways that are extremely hyped up and extremely expensive, but if you're looking for a pair of Pharrell NMDs and you don't really care so much about the hype, you can definitely find great colorways for around retail. That being said, retail is 250 bucks, so it's not a cheap shoe, but you can at least get it for less than a thousand. The Pharrell Human Race NMD features a full-length boost midsole, which is incredibly comfortable underfoot. Not only that, but the upper and a majority of the Pharrell Human Race NMDs comes in prime knit, which is very comfortable and fits like a sock. One of my favorite things about this sneaker is this sort of loose lacing system that runs over the top of the midfoot and kind of gives this shoe a sort of loose and nomadic look. If you like Pharrell, you like the way the sneaker looks, and you're not afraid to shell out a couple bucks to grab a pair, it's a great sneaker to have because of its comfort and its aesthetics. Number 5. The Yeezy Boost 700 The Yeezy Boost 700 was Kanye West's first foray into the more bulky dad shoe aesthetic. This Wave Runner colorway, which was the first colorway to drop, obviously comes with some crazy color blocking and some 90s inspired paneling on the upper. The 700 is definitely a polarizing sneaker. You either love it or you hate it. 
I personally love it because I don't have anything like it in my collection. If you do like the overall look of this sneaker, you're also in luck because this shoe is very comfortable. The upper of the shoe is very well padded and fits like a glove. The only downside is that it can get a little bit hot in the summer. The sculpted midsole, while you can't tell it from the side, actually contains an almost full length boost midsole. The 700 is an expensive sneaker though, coming in at $300 retail. But even with that price point, the 700 is still probably my second favorite Yeezy of all time. Number four, the Futurecraft 4D. Adidas 4D technology and the Futurecraft 4D are kind of a look into the future. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, 4D is actually this soft green 3D printed midsole. This is actually the first time that 3D printing or a variant of 3D printing has been used in a mass manufactured product. And I gotta say, it even looks futuristic. The reason these shoes are on the list is not because they're especially comfortable, because 4D is a lot less comfortable than Boost. The upper isn't anything special, it's just kind of normal prime knit, but it's because of what this proof of concept means for the future. Adidas hopes that in the future you can just walk into an Adidas store, have your foot scanned, and then have a 3D printed midsole created for you right there on the spot exactly for the shape of your foot. That's just such an insane thought, and the fact that Adidas is actually working towards that is pretty incredible. If you do feel like being an early adopter, it does come at a cost. You don't actually get individualized 3D printed midsoles, you just kind of get the standard size that you would usually grab, and these shoes cost about 300 to 350 bucks retail. And some of the more popular ones, like the Futurecraft 4D, even resale for 800 to 1000 dollars. Number three, the Ultraboost 19. The Ultraboost 19 is the newest iteration of the Ultraboost to release from Adidas. Adidas completely retooled the design and the styling and made it a much more performance driven shoe than previous Ultra Boosts. It features a full prime knit upper which is incredibly comfortable and fits your foot like a sock. And not only that, I think out of all the prime knit uppers that Adidas has ever put on any Adidas sneaker, this one is my favorite. It gives you support in the right places while you're running. It's stretchy enough that your feet don't feel uncomfortable but it's not too stretchy to where your toes are kind of just wandering. And the fit is true to size and feels great on foot. They also changed up the midfoot cage and made it this one piece thin plastic mesh and while I don't think it looks as good it is a more comfortable solution the heel counter changed as well and now spills over onto the midsole and gives you a lot more stability in the heel and the performance upgrades don't end there they also gave this shoe 20% more boost than the previous ultra boost which makes it incredibly comfortable underfoot while I don't think this is the most attractive sneaker on the list it's probably the most comfortable and the best for performance running number two the Yeezy boost 350 v2 We've had a bunch of 350 V2 releases this year, almost too many in my opinion. Kanye West's most popular silhouette is a staple in hype beast culture and is also a pretty comfortable shoe. Even though the 350 V2 was incredibly hyped when it first released and resale prices were going for over $1,000, now a few years later, because of the sheer amount of colorways that have been releasing, the hype has started to die down and they've become a lot more accessible for normal people. One of my favorite things about the 350 V2 is that even though it's usually a pretty loud sneaker, it's very easy to rock with any outfit. This particular colorway, the static colorway, is my favorite colorway to release in 2018, and that's because even though it's got this crazy patterned upper, the gray color scheme really keeps it from being too bold, and this clear stripe along the side really allows you to change the overall aesthetic of the sneaker by just changing your socks. The sizing on this shoe isn't perfect, so you'll have to try and find the right size that works for you, usually that's a half size up, but this prime knit upper and this internal boost midsole really makes this shoe very comfortable, and in my opinion, worth the $220 retail price point. Number one, the Ultra Boost 4.0. The Ultra Boost 4.0 is the more classic of the two Ultra Boosts on this list. For a long time, the Ultra Boost has been my favorite Adidas silhouette, and it seems like that's the case for most people as well, because as of right now, it's the best selling sneaker on Adidas.com and in Adidas stores. It's an incredible everyday lifestyle sneaker and it comes in both very muted and quiet colorways and more bold and loud colorways. So no matter what the occasion or your style preference is, you can definitely find a pair for you. I just love the overall shape of the Ultra Boost. I think it's an incredibly well-designed sneaker and is great for both sportswear and for lifestyle. The upper is covered in Prime Knit, as I'm sure you probably guessed by this point, and just like the other Prime Knit sneakers on this list, it's extremely comfortable. It's got a really great stretch to it, but still contains your foot very well and allows your foot to breathe, which is super important. Not only that, but the reason I prefer the Ultra Boost 4.0 to the newer Ultra Boost 19 is because it features some of the more classic touches, like this classic Adidas midfoot cage and the heel counter. Of course, as you can tell, it's still got the full length boost midsole, which is incredibly comfortable underfoot, 
And one of the best parts is that because it's been out for over a year, you can find some great colorways on sale. So with that, we pretty much wrap up my list on the top 10 best Adidas sneakers of 2019. Now I would love to know your thoughts on this list and which one of these shoes you like the best, so make sure to leave those comments in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe down below if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.